Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we are looking at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 two bike rack here on our 2018 Audi Q5. Now the Kuat Sherpa is what I think of as the ideal middle of the road bike rack. It's not as pricey as say the Kuat NV, but it still has the premium features that you would expect in a Kuat bike rack. Now one of its features is that it can tilt away and to do so, you pull on this lever right over here and that allows this bike rack to drop down to tilt. And you'll want to tilt it away if you want to access your hatch. As you can see here with our Q5, there's so much space between the door and our handlebars and that allows us to get into our trunk and grab our waters, our helmets, our backpacks all without having to take our bike off. So this makes it a little bit more convenient and it gets you out on the trail a lot faster. To bring it back to position, you just lift up on the bike rack and it snaps into place. Now this bike rack has this bike mounted at two points. The first is this front wheel hook. I really like this front wheel design because I have a carbon frame bike here and that way I don't have to worry about accidentally warping or cracking my frame here. Also, if I have alternate frame bikes like women's bikes, children's bikes, or even step-through bikes, this makes it super convenient because then I don't need a frame adapter bar. But when I want to take the bike off, I would start over here in the back where our rear wheel strap is. So if you press that button right over there and lift up on the strap, that releases that rear wheel. And I recommend putting the strap to the side so it's not tangled up in the spokes when you take your bike off. Next you come over here to the front and then you support your bike as you do so so it doesn't tilt backwards. You press this button, lift that up, push that out and from here it's just a slight lift and you are ready to go on a bike ride just like that. And with the bike out of the way, let's take a closer look at our bike rack itself. So you have this rear cradle here in the back and that's going to tilt to accommodate different wheel bases. The longest wheelbase this can accommodate is 47 inches. You also have this rashing wheel strap that comes down and wraps down to secure that rear wheel. Note that this has the capacity of up to three inches for in terms of tire widths. Here in the front, you can see how the front wheel cradle comes down to a more compact position. And then we have that front wheel hook that we talked about earlier and this ratchets down to secure that front wheel. We'll fold it down right there so it's nice and compact. That's one thing about the Sherpa that I've noticed that it's minimalistic and it's compact. But you do have to remember that when you do have a bike rack like this, there is going to be some length added to the back of your vehicle. So let's take some measurements to see exactly how much. Measuring from our rear bumper to the end of the bike rack, which is right over here, it's going to sit at about 32 and a half inches. That's pretty normal for a two bike bike rack, but it's still a length that you really need to remember when you're backing into your garage or you're trying to park into a really tight spot. This has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike, which means it's good for your average bikes like your road bikes, your mountain bikes, or your just your regular bikes. If you do have an extra heavy electric bike though, I recommend taking a look at the Kua Envy, which has a 60 pound weight capacity. Another thing about this is the ground clearance. So let's take some measurements. Underneath the tray, it sits at 20 and a half inches. Here underneath the shank, we have it at 13 inches. Now 13 inches is close, but it's still a decent ground clearance. It's a really good thing that this has that shank rise so your bikes are sitting a bit higher because when you're going up a really steep incline like a driveway or a hill, you're going to want as much ground clearance as you can get. Now, when you are driving around town and you want it a bit more portable and you're not carrying any bikes, what you can do is you can fold this up. So press this lever and push that bike rack up. Let's take some measurements again. Measuring from our rear bumper right over there to right where those trays are, it's seven and a half inches, but you do have an anti rail knob that sticks out a little bit, and that's gonna be at 13 and a half inches. As for closest point, it's gonna be from the bumper 
to the bike rack and you're going to have four inches of clearance, which is a lot. That way you don't have to worry about the bike rack accidentally making contact with your vehicle. You got plenty of clearance. But with it folded up like this, let's take a look at how it fits on our vehicle. Our rear window is completely free, as are our taillights completely visible. Now the backup camera on our Q5, it is offset to the passenger side, but it does come kind of in line with our front wheel clamp. That's okay because the distance is far enough that it's not gonna completely cover your view, but you still are gonna see it in your backup camera. Another thing to note with it folded up like this is how easy it is just to step on that lever which drops the bike rack down. That way if you're holding onto your bike with the other hand, you have that other hand free. Now let's talk about how this fits into our hitch. So this has a two inch solid shank. It comes with a hitch pin and a lock. Now that lock is key like the cable lock that comes with this bike rack. It also has a tool free install. So all you need to do is just pop it into your hitch and then you tighten it down with this knob right here at the back. And you can see as it's tightened down, <laughs> I'm mainly moving the bike. I'm mainly moving the car as I shake our bike rack. And that shows there is no extra sway or extra rattle from an improper connection. All you're gonna feel is the road vibration from the road, making for a smoother ride overall for your bicycles. All right, so all in all, my final thoughts about the Kuat Sherpa is it works really well here with our Q5. Q5. It looks nice and fancy. I have this here in gray, but it also comes in black and pearl. Make sure you get the one that looks best for your vehicle. You can see how everything is open. Even our license plate is visible, and it still provides those features you need for a nice, comfortable journey for you and your bikes. So that was a look at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on our 2018 Audi Q5. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So we can see here how the bike rack moves with our truck.